Man takes his terminally sick dog to see the sea. I know, I'm crazy for having brought you here in your condition, but... I wanted to give you that other emotion, because I know that you love to see the immensity of the sea, the same immensity of love that I have for you. Rest easy, my friend. Rest easy. Oh my goodness gravy. Why does a dog need to see the sea? Honestly, if you're asking me, that's a bit of an L. He should have taken some child that can't because of their financial situation. Yes, he was supposed to take his beloved friend who he's had probably for upwards of anywhere from 9 to 14 years, throw him in the garbage can and just pick up some strange child off the side of the road and be like, hey kid, you ever seen the ocean? It's just just like so vast and wide like my love for you yeah that's gonna boat over very well what makes you this bitter man ladies and gentlemen how are you doing today it is so phenomenal to see you i didn't see you standing there won't you come on in how am i doing never better i've been downing these horrible concoctions known as rain energy so it feels like my brain has turned to nuclear waste which is perfect because it numbs me just enough for me to go down the treacherous rabbit hole known as reddit if you're a new face here you might not know but once a month or so I do a little dirty work on behalf of all your lovely faces and I dive into this stinky little subreddit called the r slash cringe topia so if you've ever had a pair of loving parents you might not know what r slash cringe topia is across the internet far and wide I'm sure once or twice you stumble upon something that has made you cringe or wince uncontrollably whether that be calling cats of refugee camps witches or as we just saw interjecting your bad childhood into someone who just wants to give their dog a proper farewell or anime fans who literally build militias of anime characters in their home. I don't know where you get the time to do this, man. There is always something new and terribly disappointing waiting to be uncovered just around the corner. So, that's where I come in. This beautiful face right here. Instead of you venturing to such depths yourself, I've collected once again some of the worst of the worst for us to indulge in. So before we destroy our happy perception of the internet, which I'm sure none of us have ever actually had, make sure to drop a like and subscribe down below as it absolutely helps out the channel. Check out my Twitters. It's a great place to meet up and chat with me. And Without further ado, let's get into our episode of r slash cringetopia. Thank you so much for being here. Always a pleasure. When he's traumatized, but the biggest drama of his childhood was his parents' divorce. Yes, because it's a competition. I've never understood these kinds of posts. I mean, maybe I did it when I was younger where it's like, ah, who can be the biggest victim here? But I don't really see why it's gotta be like, ah, your parents got divorced? Well, you know, you could have had it much worse. You could be j just like me. It's like, sorry, other people go through things. Boo-hoo. It takes away from your problems. We all have got problems. Bit of uh, some rare fanfare out there for anyone who is a big fan of the uh, Cars community. Any uh, R slash Cars, uh, Disney Pixar Cars uh, forum members here. I'm a uh, personal moderator over there, so when I see posts like this, it brings a real big smile to my face. Disney Pixar's car roleplay. Oh boy, the, the beauty of Facebook. Name, Phoenix. Age, 15. Straight, bio. Phoenix was contained in a prison cell for 10 years for murdering his two brothers and mother. <laughs> that is such a dark, such a dark take on a Disney Pixar car. As soon as he came out, he was enrolled into high school to start his freshman year. With no one to believe in him, he struggles not to go down the same road as before. Open role play, he is also Dracula. How does a car murder another car, though? That's like the big question I have on my mind. Just like T-bone them when they're not looking. Like, how does that? I just, I'm just trying to picture it in my head. If you're a man and your height starts with a five, do not raise your voice at me, girly. 3.27 thousand likes. Yeah, that's real, real classy. I've always hated the height debacle. Cause it's like, ah, oh, you know, I, I wouldn't want to be oppressed. I don't want anyone to say anything mean about me. But hey, if you have this, uh, this one, what I perceive to be a flaw, then you're less of a man. You're pathetic and you're sad. It's just, it's, it's such a double standard. It's like, I, like, corporate wants you to pick apart these two images. One is really oppressive and mean. One is really oppressive. Like, what the f***? I gotta say this as professional as possible. You know, I'm just a newscaster here. I'm just the guy. I'm not supposed to have, uh, biases towards news articles. Swizz Otaku gets fired on his... <laughs> Why do you do this, man? <laughs> so fucking dumb. I don't, I, don't, I don't know if I can say this. Swizz Otaku gets fired on his first day after boss finds his insane Twitter. So look, man, I just, I I don't know. Do what you want to do, I guess. Maybe not this. No, don't do this. Please don't do this. This is, this is so weird. But if you are going to do something 
adjacent to this. Make sure it's not associated with your legal name online. So when an employer types you up, that's not the first thing he sees. Gen Z canceled the hostile thumbs up emoji and wants to ban these nine others. Buckle up, Gen Zers. Cancel culture has officially come for emojis. Gen Zers are calling out the popular thumbs up emoji for being both rude and hostile, even saying they feel attacked whenever they see it used in the workplace. Okay, I don't know how much validity there is to an article like this, but something along this news headline, it's like if you were to put my brain in a microwave wrapped in tinfoil, it just, it, it ceases to exist. So let's take this as reality. Say this is 100% true. Who gets upset about this emoji? How do you see emoji on screen? And you're like, you know what, man? This feels kind of along the lines of rude and hostile. And I, I can't take this, man. I'm just really curious curious though out of the, the other nine emojis that are out there deemed unfit for the workplace <laughs> do women ever look at men and say damn he, he's handsome stoner gamer with chill vibes <laughs> and fun stories ah uh, <laughs> i mean i'm sure there's a percentage out there I, Ah, man, I'm trying so hard to be nice here. I'm just gonna say maybe no, not not in that exact order. Not not saying it doesn't happen. I'm just saying I haven't seen it. These men six rows away on me of the train had the absolute audacity to laugh for an hour. Hearing men in this country laugh was enough to make me cry on the train for 20 minutes. Must be nice to be able to laugh these days. I seriously never want to hear a man laugh ever again. So you went to a public area you hopped on the train in a public area and you saw two people who you know nothing about laugh in a public area and somehow you view the world as the problem you didn't do any self-reflection along the lines you're like nope gotta be everyone everyone else what are you laughing about my mom called me a poopy head all right just a little sir <laughs> Oh, ladies and gentlemen, if you put your binoculars on and look in a little bit, you'll see that it's the loud equals funny girl, or oh, a bit of a abundant species. You know, as a person who really likes to make sure my grocery bill is kind of, you know, I'm getting the best bang for my buck, you know, I really take that bit serious. When I see someone drop, I don't know, $40, fresh fruit, syrup, all kinds of stuff all over the apartment their parents probably paid for, and just, just waste food for, I don't know, how long was this? 14 seconds of fame? It just, you know, I, I get a little offended, man. It's just embarrassing. You're a grown adult. Like, you're doing this, you're just wasting food. It's so f***ing lame. Like when I see the people are like, oh dude, we put 45 blocks of Velveeta cheese on a rotisserie chicken. It's like, it, it does, it doesn't taste good. It's just a waste of food. It just makes me mad. It just leaves a sour taste in my mouth. Oh my god, did Tucker Carlson really just expose my cosplay hobby to my parents live on national television? What the frick? What am I gonna do? I, I, I'm gonna get kicked out of the house. God, it, we need to talk. Come to the family right now. I recognize that flag and your wall you get at your room right now boy that really hurt my throat to do so i just had some chamomile tea and i'm gonna talk really calmly now because this is all my throat can afford i just you know this is gonna be something that boils down to a, a family matter you know i think they're gonna have to sit down at the table really kind of put together some some heads to kind of get a grasp of the understanding of uh what what really just transpired in this household this is something i personally can't comment on as this is not my family but yeah man i just i don't know like i feel like that would be something you gotta kind of wean your parents in to, you know, be like, hey, mom, you know, uh, ara, ara, you know, <laughs> Yeah, some stuff along those lines, you know, get them acquainted a bit, but to just be fully caught out in the open like this with your parents, like, that's gotta be a, that's gonna be a certain kind of adrenaline unknown to many people. Hey, uh, Team Overwatch over on Twitter, I just, uh, just wanna say, hey, what's up? My, uh, daughter created a new character. Her name is Burst, and she'd love to know your thoughts. Here's some concept art, now got some cool green effects, even wrote a note over here trying to explain the character, so just let me know what you think. Hey, man, just thought I'd reach out our artist were so inspired by this that they created their own fan art. I, I really hope your daughter loves it. You know, man, sometimes the Overwatch crew just, they just make something truly adorable. Something you just smile at. Um, like, I'm an actual f***ing artist, and so are a million god other people on the planet, and the person being recognized for their art by a game company is a f***ing child. <laughs> nah, so much. That. 
Well, if your criteria for recognition is being a child, then I'd say you still have a chance. Look, man, I get everyone wants to be appreciated for the work, especially if they're really passionate. You know, that's, that's an understandable thing. But to let that level of heart, I guess, I don't really know how you want to describe that, get to such an extent where you're taking pot shots because a nine-year-old likes Overwatch, it's just like, let's take a step back. Let's let's have some finger painting, you know, let's let's take a few steps back, really kind of self-reflect, you know, take a, take a couple Crayolas or something and draw out how you're feeling because this is not how you handle that. So... <sighs> This is uh, this is gonna be interesting. So there's not really much to read here. So I think the best thing to do would just be kind of rip the bandaid off and show you what I'm seeing. So all right, we're now on the same page. We got a guy at a vending machine puts in his beverage and it it does its thing, I guess you could say. And the vending machine says, "Oh, it's wonderful. Yep, so sweet and tasty." That's supposed to be f***ing piss, man. Hey, Reddit. Uh, my mother-in-law's lawn guy thinks this is flirting. He's, uh, 41, by the way. I hope you have a good day, too. But in this world, I'm a badass paladin. Look at this armor set. Oh, okay. Now I will stop. So I'm gonna assume, just given by this, you know, that I hope you're having a good day, too, that there is a lovely, lovely set of messages. Because this guy, this is a follow-up message. So, we're just getting the tip of the iceberg of what this man's game really entails. Guy sings Lana Del Rey lyrics at a Starbucks. Hmm. I need a coffee that tastes like uh, Lana Del Rey. Maybe with uh, cinnamon or cherries and wine. Lana Del Rey. Yeah, we know the Lana Del Rey. You can make something like Lana. I can make a coffee that they know Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Not grande. Uh -huh. Not Del Rey. In my tea. It's Lana Del Rey. It's so Lana Del Rey vinyl. It's so Lana Del Rey vinyl. Look, man, this type of stuff, when you walk in thinking you're the main character to like an establishment with entry level workers, you gotta stop with all that. You can't just be doing this. Starbucks employees, they deal with so much on a daily basis. You know, like pretty much any entry level retail or customer service job that's owned by a corporation, you're gonna find people who just wanna make money and go home. That's all they wanna do. Just give them a free pass one morning. Just don't walk in being like, Hello, we've seen them in this one day. Let them have a breather. Hey guys, I just, uh, you know, wanted to come to Twitter and say, the school sadly censored my furry art for the school newspaper, but it got printed at the very least, lol. Hashtag furry. Hashtag furry fandom. I just, I don't know how this passes, man. If I was a parent and my son or daughter came home with this, like, hey dad, check out what the news, the, the school news talking about. Um, how, uh, there'll be a couple phone calls me. <laughs> what the f <laughs> Oh man, that put me in a really good mood. <laughs> God uh, I had a really long post lined up after this and I'm trying to, I'm trying to read this while trying to calm down. Oh, I'm heartbroken. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's a good way to sum it up. My six-year-old son, whom I've tried to raise at least as a vegetarian, I'm vegan and my wife adheres to the vegetarian diet, just told me that he wants to eat meat now. When he told me yesterday that, quote, he can eat whatever he wants and he wants to eat chicken, my heart sunk so hard at that moment that I was speechless for a minute. I then calmly reminded him that chickens were raised for just a few months before they are killed as meat, and why do we want to kill chickens just to eat them? He doesn't have a response, and he walked away. I only have my myself to blame, really. I don't think I've been educating him with the correct and effective messages for all his life. And what triggered his desire to eat meat was when a few months ago he accidentally ate a piece of chicken at a regular Thai restaurant during a family vacation. The catastrophe of it all. We ordered a tofu bowl for him, but the stupid waitress messed up our order and gave him a chicken bowl instead. I should have checked it before letting him eat it. The chicken meat were battered and deep fried, so at a glance I didn't detect the difference from the fried tofu. By the time I noticed it was strange looking, he already took a bite and love the taste. I'm still beating myself up for not being diligent that day. What can I do now to steer him away from wanting to eat meat? I don't want to force him to do what he doesn't want to do or be upset at him, but I'm very heartbroken and felt that I've been an utter failure as a parent for not guiding him on a path of empathy for all living beings. Look, I'm not gonna tell you what to do here. I'm not Dr. Phil. I'm not a parent counselor. But, okay, have the conversation with him. He's allowed to eat what he wants to eat at the end of the day. He's his own person. I get you're gonna have to pause and reflect and really look at life through a different lens.
friends because your child just might kind of slightly appeal to a Chick-fil-A sandwich every now and then. But at the end of the day, it's not really that big a deal. You are entirely allowed to have your own dietary options and the way you want to eat, that's up to you. But don't be so dramatic just because a child ate a piece of chicken. There's there's no need for this. Alrighty, remember, you're only allowed to choose one of the three. Who's your pick? Oh, well, look at the, the, kid, uh, the kids, that's cool. Hmm, I like the most innocent one, Chi-chan, but if I could get Taneka-chan, it would be awesome too. Komoko-chan is quite wild one since she only loves Chi, but I guess if you help her out a bit on getting on Chi, she could be quite a meek girl and do whatever you want her to do. You put a lot of thought into that one, like you were making Venn diagrams and all that fun jazz to really kind of pick out which uh, child you want to, yeah. Do you dare challenge his pick? I don't know. It's, uh, I'd be interested to find out. Oh, you little- Alright, damn. Gonna hurt my feelings like that for no reason. You wanna challenge my pack? Well, I hate to say this, but I'm not the alpha that you wanna challenge. Because my true alpha is right there. <laughs> That's him? That's the true alpha? That's him? That's- I. I'll shut my mouth. So if you wanna challenge one of us, you have to go through all of us. Ain't that right, alpha? So true. I'm back. I stepped down because I had to. Now! I'm back. So, you want to challenge? <laughs> Let's challenge. You want to fight me one-on-one? -on -one? Well, listen up well. He was my trainer. So I suggest you shut up before you have to deal with him. And I'm ready. And we're all ready. Whoa, that's pretty big. This guy was your trainer. Legend has it, he stepped down because he had to, but now he's back. And man, he's ready to throw some hands. What does that mean? What? Like, I have no context to your life. I stepped down, don't you remember? I don't even know who you are. Like, you can't be like, oh yeah, you want to meet this guy? He stepped down. Like, no one's going to find that scary. I wonder just how many times <laughs> they had to take this video. You know, at least once they got halfway through and they're like, is it even recording? So they had to, they had to recapture the lightning in a bottle here. These are like some Cartoon Network villains, man. These are goofy. I don't know who they're aimed at. Like I see these videos all over the place and it's like, oh yeah, buddy, you wanted to mess with me? Like, who are you mad at? It's not, these people aren't real. Today I'll be giving you guys some one-liners that you can use while playing Fall Guys. Here you go. This has to be satire. There's no way. Oh, get out of my way and go see in some hay. Not a satire, man. <laughs> There's no way. Oi, lad, call up your mum and tell her I just qualified. <sighs> Hexagon, more like hexacrown. <laughs> Boom! Shamzema. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Boom. Shanzama. <laughs> I know it's fake, but god, I want it to be real. I want to believe. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we have reached the end of the video. It's absolutely phenomenal to have you here. If you did enjoy, feel free to drop a like and subscribe down below. Let me know why you liked the video and make sure to turn that bell notification on. Also, if you want to reach me after the video, feel free to follow my Twitch, Instagram, or Twitter as a really good places to reach out. I want to say it's really good hanging out with you all again. Y'all really do mean the world to me and I'm just really happy to be able to sit here and record and just make some content for you guys really good motivator throughout my week so i do appreciate it but without further ado i'm gonna keep this outro short because i'm sure you got things you gotta go do so stay amazing and i'll see you in the next one take care <laughs>